which it would be quite a story. I came to Grace St. Luke's in 1982. And we grew up a long way away, but nonetheless, we were raised in the Episcopal tradition. And so, of course, we wanted a, to find a, an Episcopal church here. We first visited here because of its proximity to our house. I love how in open and warm everyone is. And we walked through the front door and everybody was as friendly as they could possibly be. I feel so blessed to be at Grace St. Luke's. So what I fell in love with the most was the family atmosphere. That made me like Grace St. Luke's ever since that time. We choose to pledge in order for the church to be able to go out into the community and to give some stability to the church. Years before us coming here, there had to be people who gave and enabled us to come as well. We want to invest in a place that our daughter can grow up in and learn to love Christ. We feel it's an important part of our spiritual life. And past that, it's about the place. The church has helped me in doing my duty to God. You're either moving ahead or you're moving back. We now have a real opportunity to move ahead. And the church can't do that uh, without our support, and I firmly believe that you get out of something uh, what you put into it. The worth of Grace St. Luke's, to me, is immeasurable. I, could, I couldn't, couldn't pay enough, couldn't pay enough. Grace St. Luke's is home to us. Being able to be a part of the church and doing good in the community. An anchor for us when we're a long way from our homes. Grace St. Luke's is my touchstone. Grace St. Luke's is about being yourself without restrictions. Grace St. Luke's is my family. God lives everywhere, but I think she especially lives at Grace St. Luke's. She is also awesome.